Hello everyone, I'm Urs Recher. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor. And welcome to the next how-to video. Carl, you prepared a product shot for us. What's yes. going on? Yep, a product shot which essentially is going to be black on black, but because it's a black product, I need to separate it from that background using rim lighting. So we're just using a very small strip of black and then I'll extend that black out afterwards. Kind of similar to that aubergine uh, how-to yeah. video we did, uh, you did a, a while Couple ago. A few years ago, yeah, exactly. um, But let's, let's walk through the setup on this one. So I see only two soft boxes, the biggest one and the smallest one we have. Absolutely. But a lot around. Yeah, well, um, it, essentially it's quite simple in terms of lighting because like you say, it is just two soft boxes. We have the large 120, 180 as the backlight, which is giving me a very large spread of light. The bigger we can make that light, then the more it's going to wrap around mm -hmm. the product. And you can see I've got this sheet of diffusion material in, which is actually going to soften the edge of that wrap around. So otherwise we just get the, the sharp line from the soft box and this just feathers the, the edges a little bit. It does, right. yeah. It feathers, as you said, it feathers, diffuses away. So what I'll probably do is I'll show a shot with this and without oh, it so we, yeah. we can see the difference. Um, the second soft box is actually almost the smallest in the range, the 3560. So, we go smallest, yeah. so we're going from the biggest in the range to the smallest. Absolutely. Uh, but that's fine for this product because the product is small. Got it in very close to the product, trying to illuminate uh, the glossiness of the product. Uh, in addition to that, a mirror here, a large mirror, which is bouncing some light into this side of the product. And then you cleverly made me a very nice uh, window mask flag to stop the flare, because as we said, we've only got a thin black strip here, because mm -hmm. if we're shooting black on black, obviously if this was all black, as you know, we wouldn't get any light onto course, the yeah. rim light of the product. So we can only use a thin strip of black to let the light wrap around, and then I'll extend that black out afterwards. So because of all this extraneous light shining into camera, without your little window mask, we'd be getting flare. Yeah. Uh, when I understood it right during the setup, you prefer a mirror here instead of something just white to actually reflect again a gradation that this light is creating a gradation in the object. Is this Absolutely. right? Absolutely. I mean, we would have the option there to put another soft box there, but it would be a very flat, homogenous light source. We could put a flat white uh, material there, but again, a flat line. By using the mirror and picking up some of the gradation mm -hmm. off of this soft box and off of this uh, scrim, then we can get a little bit of that gradation light in the reflection on that side. Okay, great. Excellent. Right, I think uh, I'm ready to take the shot. And then what we'll do is we'll take uh, a shot with each softbox independently so the viewers can see and then take the scrim away and see that so option as what's well. what's doing what? Great. Okay, so let's get the capture button open. I'm shooting F16, 120mm macro lens. And there we can see the result. Now the interesting part here is obviously the, the rim lighting. But here you can see the feather of the rim lighting because of the scrim. Of the screen yeah, in yeah. front of the softbox. And here you can see the feather, the gradient, from the mirror reflecting exactly. the scrim. And you can see the feather gradient from, from the, the scrim, from the rim lighting around. And that's obviously afforded by that black. And as I said, we'll extend that black outwards later and I'll probably put a fake artificial glow behind the product as mm -hmm. well oh, in, nice. in oh, post-production. Okay. Um, there's a couple of little details that I'll have to fix in post-production where we've got this highly reflective chrome foil. There's a couple of little patches that have gone mm -hmm. black, which I'll probably fill in in post. But this is a very difficult subject matter to try and capture in one shot. Exactly. Um, essentially as well, I'll probably shoot a separate exposure, a darker exposure for the cap to bring some, recover some detail in the cap in the, uh, in the final shot. Let's take a look at just one light at a time. So uh, you're a bit taller than me, yours, so if you can maybe turn off that top soft box first of all. Yes. Now in this test off. shot, we'll have the rim lighting, but we'll also have the mirror here. So the mirror is still there, and actually the light that you see on the label is just a reflection off the front soft box. Which is flashing. Yeah. Exa exactly, yeah, so it's acting as a reflector, but that would be obviously quite dark. Mm -hmm. and the uh, letter K would be uh, black without the softbox in there. So um, change? Yeah, let's change, go the other way around. And we'll see how important the backlighting is, which is obviously crucial 
yep, done. Uh, to this shot. So we take that shot and there we have an invisible mm. product yeah, with absolutely. just a band of light. It disappears black and black. Exactly. Gone, yeah. So that's why it's so essential for the, the backlighting, the rim lighting. So we'll pop that back on again. We'll take another shot and then we'll remove the scrim. All right, good. And the great thing as well about this shot is we're doing it just with the two Cirrus lights. We're not even using any fancy uh, expensive uh, you know, uh, lighting or specialist uh, product lamps. We're just using two standard Cirrus lights. I believe one's an 800 and one's a 400. Exactly. Now, because we've taken the scrim away, we'll probably have to knock a little bit of light off of this. I'm down just going to take, yeah, we'll take it down a stop and see how, see how that looks. So and in the background, we are now three stops below max. Before we have been two stops below max. So yes. let's say on 200 joules. Yeah. In fact. Yeah. And that uh, was on 100 ISO as well at f16. Yeah. Right. So let's see what we get on the rim lighting this time. Yeah. We we'll take a closer look at it. Pretty much the same brightness. So we compensated same. nicely, but yeah. exactly. But here, when we look at the detail on that edge there, and we compare it to that edge there, yeah. there's the gradation. There's the gradation, and now it's there's no gradation, sharp edged, yeah. and there's also no gradation in the mirror because the scrim's gone. Because this is a uh, recycling the the scrim's light. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So you you can choose that maybe maybe as a photographer you might prefer the harder sort of homogeneous lines, but for me I prefer the yeah, um, too, yeah. miss the mix of the lighting with the with the gradients because this main light on here was rather homogenous it's sharp, yeah. and then the edges are soft. soft yeah. nice. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed that uh, how-to video with uh, rim lighting uh, product shots. Uh, thanks very much for watching. I'm Carl Taylor. Thank you very much, Carl. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.